Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate a logarithm without a calculator. Now, um, we can do this. I'm hopefully you watched my at least evaluate a, a logarithm uh, kind of using with simple ones. So therefore, I kind of talk about you know what exactly a logarithm means and represents. Um, in this case, I always like to use the one-to-one -one property when I'm evaluating logarithms, especially logarithms that maybe not, might not come to me as quickly in my head. So this one-to-one -one property basically it's if I have if x raised to the a is equal to x raised to the b, then a equals b. Now that might make sense, might not make sense, so I gave you an example. An example is if, if I have 3 raised to some number x and that's equal to 3 squared, well it would kind of make sense that if 3 to the x is equal to 3 squared, then, then x has to equal 2, right? So remember when we're looking at a logarithm, we're basically, at least for the first, you know, for all of these, we're basically asking us, 27 raised to what power is going to equal me 3? So I always think it's kind of beneficial when doing these problems to kind of rewrite it in that exponential kind of format. So I can say 27 raised to what number is going to equal to 3? Now, I don't know what number 27 raised up to 3. It's not as simple as like the last video I did where you know it's like 3 raised to what number gives you 9? Oh, it's 2, right? But in this is not very as transparent. So what I can do though is can use the one-to-one -one property. Basically, if I can say, if I can get this to be an expression or an equation where I have the base that's exactly the same, then I know my powers are going to be equal to each other. Well, 3 and 27 are related to each other because 3 to the first power is 3, 3 squared is 9, and 3 cubed is going to equal 27. So therefore, I can rewrite 3 cubed raised to the x equals 3. Now I can use my power rule. Now I'm not going to do this for all of them. Um, but eh, I'm kind of running out of space here. Maybe I'll do it for the last ones. Um, anyway, so therefore now I have my bases are exactly the same. So therefore I have, now this, you could say, well, what is this raised to? Well, you could just say that's raised to the first power, right? So now you could say 3x is equal to 1, whereas x is equal to the 1 third power. Kind of running out of space here, so that's why I kind of uh, went over from there. So if we did the next example, again, I would do the same thing. I could say 16 raised to what value is going to equal me 2. Now hopefully we understand that um, 2, we have 2 to the first power equals 2, 2 to the second power equals 4, 2 to the third power is 8, 2 to the fourth power is 16. So I could rewrite this as 2 to the fourth raised to the x equals 2. Now basically what I didn't show over here is you should use the power rule at least to show that that's going to be 2 to the 4x equals 2. And then you can raise that to the first power. Now you can divide them out. And we could say x equals to the 1 fourth. Kind of running out of space on those, aren't I? All right, for the next one, again, we can just do it one last time. So I could do 16 raised to what value is going to leave me with 8. Um, oh, OK, so therefore, x equals 1 fourth. So therefore, I should write these in there. It's not really mathematically the way I want to do it. So anyways, this value, so log base 27 of 3 is 1 third. Log base 16 of 2 is 1 fourth. So log base 16 of 8, I can rewrite uh, 16 and 8. Now you can see that these, I can't write 16 to a power that's going to give me 8. So I've got to look back into my values and think, all right, well, what base then can I write? Could I do 4? Because right, I know 4 squared is 16, but I can't make 4 raise it to a power to give me 8. I can always go back to my 2s, though. Because 2 to the 4th power is 16, and 2 to the 3rd power is 8. So in this case, I'm going to do both of them. So I'm going to do 2 to the 4th power x equals 2 cubed. Now, using my 1 to 1 property, I'm left with 4x is equal to 3. Divide by 4, divide by 4, and I get x equals 3 fourths. So I have x equals 3 fourths in that example. Now for the next one, I'm going to use green. Uh, just because, Actually, you know what? I'm going to go over here and use my blue, just so you guys can see kind of the difference. And I'm not getting everything crowded here. All right, so now I'm going to do 9 over to the 27. So, so I have 9 to the x equals 27. Well, again, 9 to the first power is 81. I'm sorry, 9 squared is 81. So uh, obviously, it's not going to work. However, I can rewrite 3 squared is 9 and 3 cubed is 27. So I could do 3 squared raised to the x equals 3 cubed. Now I can, uh, now I can use my 1 to 1 property and say 2x is equal to 3. So therefore, x equals
x will equal 3 halves. So when you divide by 2 on both sides, so x equals 3 halves. Over here, again, I have 4 raised to what power equals 32? Well, 4 squared is 16. 4 cubed is 64. So that's not going to work, but I can rewrite this out. So I'll rewrite this as 4 raised to the x equals 32. However, looking at my 2's here, 2 to the fifth power is equal to 32. So I can rewrite this as 2 squared raised to the x equals 2 to the fifth power. Therefore, now I can see that x, so I have 2x equals 5, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 5 halves. So log base 4 of 32 equals 5 halves. Uh, for 16, again, looking at this, you've got to look at your numbers. You know, which numbers go up to there. And in this case, you can see that 4 to the first power is 4. 4 squared is 16, and 4 cubed is 64. So therefore, by writing this, I could say 4 raised to what value? I'm sorry. 16 raised to what value equals 64? Well, 16 to the 16 squared, I don't know what it is, but it's not 64. But I can write 16 as 4 squared raised to the x equals 4 cubed. And then hopefully you'll see we did another couple of these, which would be exactly the same, just like over here. So therefore, I have 2x equals 3, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 3 halves. So the main important thing I want you to show, the reason why I'm using this green here, is because I'm setting up this you know, e, um, exponential equation to help me solve, to help me think through the problem. But this is a, you know, this is a logarithmic expression. You know, we're evaluating. We're trying to find the value of that. So I'm writing equals 1 third, equals 3 halves, because you know, that's what the value is going to be equal to or equivalent to. But it's not actually an equation. It's a, it's a logarithm, I and mean, we're just evaluating. I'm using these exponential equations, though, to help me think through the problems. All right, uh, the next one here is 16. Now we're dealing with fractions. And I know everybody hates fractions. So the main important thing with the fractions is a simple rule x to the m is equal to 1 over x to the negative m. So eh, let's not write it that way. Let's write it this way. x to the negative m equals 1 over x to the m. So when we were first learning about our negative powers, uh, one of the things that we talked about was this negative power rule. And x raised to the negative exponent is equal to 1 over x to the m. So what's important about that is you guys can see that all of these have or all of them are raised to the first power. However, they're in the denominator. If I want to get them off the denominator, I have to put them in the numerator. But you just can't throw a number from the denominator into the numerator. To do that, if you have it, a variable or any term raised to a power, to put them into the numerator, now your exponent or your power is going to be negative. So therefore, I'm going to rewrite this as log base 16 of 4 to the negative first power. Now, in reality, what I'm asking is, 16 raised to what number equals 4 raised to the negative first power? Well, you can see here 16 you could write as squared. So I could rewrite this as 4 squared raised to the x equals 4 to the negative first power. Now you can see that my 4's are going to divide out, and I'll be left with 2x minus 1. I'm sorry, 2x equals negative 1, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals negative 1 half. Okay. In the next example, we can do kind of like the exact same thing. I can rewrite this as log 125 of 25 to the negative first power. Ooh, ran out of space there. So therefore, when doing that, I am basically asking myself, all right, 125 raised to what power equals 25 to the negative first power? Well, again, we want to see, well, what can I raise a number to to give me 125 as well as to give me 25? So I could do 5 squared. I'm sorry. <laughs> 5 squared over here. 125 is actually 5 cubed x, and this is 5 squared. So now I can divide these out. And I'm left with 3x equals negative 2. So therefore, x equals a negative 
three halves. So I'm just going to have to circle or square my answer over there since I kind of ran out of space. Over here, another example. So instead of equaling it, I'm just going to say 81 uh, is equal to 27 to the negative first power. I automatically see the 81, 27. I know it's probably going to be as factors of 3, which is correct, um, which is going to be 3 to the third, three to the fourth power. Oh, that's to the x. Okay, So that's 3 to the fourth to the x equals 3 cubed to the negative first. Therefore, now I can uh, divide out my one, use my 1 to 1 property. And therefore, I have 4 to the x equals negative 3. Divide by 4, divide by 4. x equals a negative 3 fourths. All right, over here, now I have the fraction in the bottom. But it doesn't really matter. It's like the exact same thing that you're going to be doing. We're not really changing anything. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as 1 third raised to what power is equal to 81? Well, again, I need to rewrite this as with the 3 in the numerator. So it's 3 to the negative first power raised to the x equals 81. And again, 81 is 3 to the fourth power. So in reality, it's 3 to the negative, um, negative 1 times x using the power rule. You'd multiply the negative 1 in the x. So therefore, you have. 3 to the negative x is equal to 3 to the fourth power. Well, now I have negative x equals 4. So therefore, divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, x equals negative 4. Okay. Over here, we're going to do the same thing. But I'm just going to rewrite this as 11. So it's 11 to the negative first power. So 11 raised to the negative first power of x is going to equal 121. Well, what number, uh, 121, is the same thing as 11 squared? So now I'll just use my 1 to 1 property. And I can say negative x is equal to 2. So therefore, x is going to equal negative 2. And last but not least, I have a log of base of 1 over 64 uh, of 128. So therefore, that's going to be 1 over Oh, sorry. So let's do 64 to the negative first power raised to the x power equals 128 to the negative first power. Oh, what I liked about this problem is, again, you have them both you know, as fractions. So you've got to raise them both to the negative power. Now you've got to think, all right, well, what number can I rewrite right there to that's going to be raising 64 and 128? Well, I know that 2 to the sixth power, I didn't write that in there. 2 to the 6th power is going to be 64. So 2 to the 7th power is going to be 128. So therefore, this is 2 to the 6th um, So raised to the 6th, raised to the negative first, raised to the x equals 2 to the 7th, raised to the negative first, raised to the x. So therefore, by multiplying all of these out, my 2's now divide out. And that's a 7. So therefore, I am left with, man, I'm running out of like space. <laughs> so by dividing that out, where'd my blue go? There it is. So dividing that out, I have a, um, I have a negative 6x equals negative 7x. Or negative 7. Where did that x come from? Negative 7. So therefore, divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6, x equals 7, 6. So in this case, x equals 7 over 6. Whew. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you stayed all the way to the end. I know this is a lot of work. Um, but that is how you evaluate logarithms without a calculator. And the more and more you do, the more and more practice you get, the faster and faster you will get. Thanks.